Hello peeps, we're live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash pinkyquack. Hope you're doing well, and I am doing well as well. <laughs> so there, I had a good day. I woke up this morning, and uh, I got a nice little surprise, and we'll talk about that in a little while. Let's get into this Pinky Quack live stream. Where are my transitions at? There we go. I'm on top of Spangle Boos Mountain. Of all places. And Jimbo is the best sign here, of course. Winnie T. Ford, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Torebo as well. And Tom with Bananas in Chat. Thank you very much. And the Slimes in Chat as well. I want to talk about that right now, actually. I, I woke up this morning. And, um... I got a tweet. I got a I got a DM from the artist that I'm working with. And um, how do we get off this mountain? I suppose we could just fly. Um, let me just F5 for a second. So I got a surprise. I, I've been working with this artist, same artist who did uh, Sherpa's emotes. And uh, he said, you know what, Binky Quack? Binky Quack. I heard you're looking for emotes, sub badges. And I said, Sherpa? You heard right. 
Sherpa. Do you have somebody in mind? And uh, Sherpa said, yes, yes, Binky Quack, I do. Anyways, I'm going to skip all that goofiness and get right to the point. So I got a DM this morning with some first draft sketches of the emotes and the sub badges. And uh, peeps, I was, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm really excited. They look really good. They've only been penciled so far and I'm, I'm excited. Get excited, slimes. Slimes in chat, it's coming. I also don't know how to get off of this mountain. Like, I, I'm off the mountain, but I don't know where her portal is. I think it's in the mountain, but like, not where it used to be. I think it's in there. Let's see if we can get in there. Ooh, that's right, professional. Unwoven Rainbow says, hey, hey, welcome Rainbow. I'm looking forward to the vanilla stream day this weekend. Peeps. Oh, that's right. We're having another stream day here on the Asumaverse. It's not going to be on Let's Play Minecraft together this time. You know what? Let me just get right to it. Transition time, peeps. Bam! Professional streamer right here. So take a look at this. We have a uh, two-part stream day by the looks of it. Uh, so in the morning, we'll be couplex at 7 a.m. till 9 a.m. Uh, this is in uh, GMT. And then uh, a little bit of a break, and then Sherpa will be live at 2, wait, sorry, 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. Followed by Rainbow at 8 p.m. Sorry, 6, I'm getting confused. 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. And uh, then I believe at 8 p.m. the server is getting officially shut down. And so that's what this stream day is all about celebrate the life of uh, the vanilla server. Pinky Bear in the chat says hello. Hello. How you doing, Pinky? I'm doing some stream day plugs. Oh, goodness. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a little spoiler, actually. So one of the emotes... Uh, one of the emotes is, is for myself, obviously, but mostly for Terebo as well, because he... He's always talking about slimes. And uh, so it's a duck hugging a slime, a baby slime. So I think, I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. So yes, this is the inside of Spangles Mountain. It looks pretty amazing. And we saw a lot of it, the outside of it on uh, the last stream. Hello, Jimbo. Hello, Bell Rise. Bell Rise says hi, Binky. Hello to you. Pinky Bear says, wait, what? Is the LPMT server getting shut down? No, thankfully not. Are we going the right way? I don't know how to get out of this place. Where are we? I have another, another little piece of uh, update to the schedule. I have added a third day to my weekly schedule. I don't actually remember what that new day is, so just give me a second. So pro. Doesn't even know his own schedule. Right. So, I have updated my schedule. Right. So, Sundays, it will be the same as always as it has been so far. And that'll be at uh, 4 p.m. Well, sorry. It used to be 2 p.m. I've changed it to 4 p.m. That way I don't have to always end the stream with the server reset. Um, right. So, Sunday, 4 p.m. GMT until 6 p.m. And then Wednesday at 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. And Friday as well at uh, 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. So get excited for that. Although Sunday will be my last stream for a little over a week. As I will be traveling to Spain 
to celebrate my birthday in uh, in Palma and Barcelona. So excited for that. I got a friend coming from Canada to visit in London for a couple days, and then we're going to go to Spain. And I'm pretty excited for that. So there you have it. Updates. So those are my updates. I'm back on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server today because... I feel like it's been a little while since I've done anything on this server, and, and there's a reason for that. I've been working on some things. Some things. Some, some things. Some things have been happening. Some things have been worked on. And uh, I'll talk a bit more about that in the future. Right. Let's see where this chat is at. I'm a little bit behind on this chat. Hi, Brajimbo. Welcome to the stream. Hype for Binky Quack emote. There is actually an emote there now. I put one up. It's just one that I made. And um, it's not going to stay for long. It's just going to be there probably till the end of the week. And uh, hopefully by the end of this week, I will have my new emotes and my new sub badges. And then, uh, yeah, well worth the wait. I must say, I'm, I'm very excited. I keep, I keep saying it. I'm very excited. They're going to look pretty good. Right, I think we're caught up. So let's let's get into it. Hyperjumbo says, Binky, your time that is shown at the bottom right isn't right. Is not right. Um is it not? 25 minutes? We have not been streaming for 25 minutes. All right, well, how do we fix that? Okay, so let's pause it. What's the uptime? Technical difficulties, peeps. Peeps, pay attention. We got technical difficulties. Sad duck on the stream. Twelve minutes and fifty-five seconds. You know what? Let's just go with thirteen minutes. Oh no, I can't change it. Uh, what is this? Decrease. Okay, you know what I can do? Stop that. And, uh... Oh, goodness me. Okay, just give me a second. In the meantime, peeps, tell me, what have you guys been up to today? How are you guys doing? Winnie, Terebo, Hyper Jimbo, Pinky Bear, Bellrise Tom, did I get everybody? How you guys doing? Uh, right, program files, okay. Going hacker mode on it, peeps. Infiltrate. Right, so let's start the timer. And then pause the timer. And then edit the file. Yes, here we go. I need one more time, one more uptime from this Nightbot fella. Nightbot, where are you, my friend? Right, so is that... Is that then going to work? No, it's not going to work. Ah, oh, that's it. Stream's over. Stream's cancelled. Oh, derpy derp. Get ready, that's another emote coming, by the way. Derpy duck. It's gonna happen. Oh, that's made me kind of sad. I like my timer.
Shade says, oh, this is nice. I can watch you while laying in bed. Sicker than I've been in a long time. Puked yesterday for the first time in two years. It burned my throat a little bit. And now I have to lay in bed and rest. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun for you. Unfortunately, um, it happens, hey? Uh, hope you feel better soon. I wasn't feeling too great myself the other day. And I too also uh, vomited a little bit. And um, yeah, it had been a few years since I had actually done that. But I, I can say this, shortly after, it did make me feel a bit better, so... Hope you feel better soon. Why do I have double jump? From my portal, I guess. We're jumping off. Drumping. We're jumping. We're jumping off. We're dropping off some stuff. Get your inventories ready. Uh, let's replenish the food while we're at it. Jimbo says, Ew, don't litter in your own pond. Naughty Binky Duck. It's okay, don't even worry about it. I won't tell if you won't tell. Torebo says, Get better soon. Yes, indeed. Get better soon, my friend. Shade, hope you feel better soon. saying naughty binky for disposing of some biodegradable substances in my own pond goodness me i just can't get away with anything oh that's right we're back to this terraforming business right here get ready tell you what it's not going to terraform itself that much i do know Where's my helmet? I don't have a helmet. Uh-oh. I need my helmet. That's the wrong one. Oh, that's fun. Now I have to track that down. Oh, great. Oh, now we're just throwing everything out in the inventory. Red choker box has nothing in it. Classic. Right, well, I guess we might as well just wear the feather. Give me that dirt block. safe to say the aquatic update 1.13 was probably one of the best updates we've received in a while although I'm not a big fan of all the new stuff that grows underwater yeah can do without it I guess it only really well it only really bothers me when I'm terraforming underwater I've forgotten my groove for doing this. So I'm kind of resetting 
I gotta find that groove again. Oh my goodness, so we are almost 10 minutes, 12 minutes late on this follow, this follow alert that came in from Unwoven Rainbow. Thank you very much for the follow, Rainbow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Quack family. Jeez. Just late. Here we go. Now what I wanted to do. Shade says, why would you tell on yourself? I didn't tell on myself. I didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You told Jimbo that if he didn't tell you, wouldn't tell. Oh, if he didn't tell, you wouldn't tell. Why would you tell on yourself? This is sounding a bit accusatory. I'm not liking the way this is formed up like that. It's so steep. It's a little too steep. I'm disappointed. I'm sad. We're gonna have to fix that. Oh yeah, did I show this on stream? I'm not sure if I've shown any of this on stream. I built um, a dock house. A dock house, which also is a dog house. Sorry, I had to enunciate that. Um, I haven't done the interiors yet because I don't know how to do interiors, so maybe I'll find somebody to collaborate with. So yeah, and then I built this, this ship, which needs a name. Peeps. Peeps. We need a name for the boat. We need a name for the boat. Oh my goodness. You're on water. You shouldn't be on water. Are you metamorphic, Mike? Okay, you're just the regular pig, but that's fine. You still need saving, and I'm gonna save you. No, don't drown, don't drown. Get stuck underneath that, you crazy pig. Crazy pig! I have a pig on my island that's named metamorphic Mike, in case you're confused by that statement. There's a story there, I've told it before. But uh, basically, there was a bit of a server outage on LPMT for about a week, which felt like a hundred years. So some of us decided to go play on the vanilla server for a while. And I was just, you know, innocently wandering around with my duck self in my mind. Walk the other way. Turn around, walk the other way. Get on land, damn, you're so dumb. Jeez. Call the boat Quackers, says on Woven Rainbow. Quackers? Oh yeah, I suppose we could. That's one idea. Mm-hmm. So I was telling the story. I was just, I was in my mind. I was getting my resources, starting to build my base on vanilla. And this would be the first time I'd been on vanilla. Vanilla? Jeez. Don't even know how to say vanilla. And, um... Metamorphic Mike teleported to me for just whatever reason, you know, doing Metamorphic Mike things. And uh, decided to spawn some pigs in my strip mine. So in honor of his generous donation, I decided to name them all Metamorphic Mike. And I've carried on that tradition from the vanilla server over here onto Let's Play Minecraft together. So I have a pig named Metamorphic Mike somewhere on this island. And Garth also has a pig named Metamorphic Mike somewhere in his base in the port city of Gardor. Hundred million years later, that's the story. Jeez, takes forever. To tell the story. Hyper Jimbo says, okay Binky, see you later. I'm going to the shop to get something to eat. Oh to get something not to eat, just something. Okay, jeez. Have fun. You too, Jimbo. Have fun with your shopping spree. Cloudy Weeks says hello. Hello, Cloudy Weeks. Welcome to the stream. 
Welcome to me trying to do underwater terraforming, which I don't really want to do. Um, and so I might not do it. In fact, I'm not going to. I don't want to do it, therefore I will not do it. Which also means I am now a free agent, which means I have nothing to do. So let's find something to do. What are you doing here? Have I? Okay, so you're going to get struck by lightning, probably. Because it seems to happen. So just get, get yourself a little roof right there. Oh yeah, so this is my villager breeder, and um, hi. I, I logged in one day and they were all dead. And I was like, well, damn, what happened here? And it turns out because I didn't have a glass roof, um, the theory is that lightning got them, turned them all into witches, and then they despawned. And I'm sitting here thinking like, well, that's not very convenient. That's not helpful for me. So yeah, I had to sort that out. Had to sort it out. Hyper Jimbo says, don't add words on my sentence and you should eat before stream. I haven't eaten yet. And you know me, I always misread people's words and things. So, don't be shocked. Cloudy Week says, question, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I am 29. 29. 29 years old. I will be turning 30 next week in Spain. I don't live in Spain. By the way, I might have left that detail out. I'm traveling to Spain. Cloudy Weeks says epic. It is pretty epic. Ow, give me my boat. We're going east, peeps. We're going east. Pinky Bear says, When I asked him, he made me guess how old he sounded. And then told me. Yeah, that's true. It is true. I like to make a guessing game whenever I can. Although that's not necessarily true because I had the opportunity to do it again. And I didn't. So I guess I'm not just in the mood today for that. Pinky Bear says, how old do you think he sounds, Cloudy? Cloudy says, 23. Fair enough. I'll take 23. 23 sounds good to me. Ooh, that's funky. going to a project that I started working on. There's not much there at the moment. It's just a resource gathering site at the moment. And I've got some sandstone to drop off. Called Project Shenron. Any guesses what it is? I'll give you a hint. Dragon Ball Z.
Cloudy Week says shop. I am not building a shop. Mickey Bear says, I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. Okay, another hint. Shenron is the name. Of the person and or thing. Okay, I'll just tell you. Shenron is a dragon. Very anticlimactic answer, I know. Yes, so Shenron is a dragon from Dragon Ball Z. How exciting. But it's not just the dragon, it is a roller coaster that will be circling around and through and about and just basically any any other permutation of a roller coaster's functionality, I guess, around this dragon. So, yeah. And um, I've got to gather a lot of blocks, about 80,000 sandstone. Uh, glowstone is done. A couple chests of those, a couple double chests. A few random colors of, of wool, and then I have to get another 80,000 wool over here. Mostly lime wool. It's going to be big. It's a pretty big project. Rainbow says, oh, you're working on your roller coaster. Nice. No. Well, no. No, not really. I'm just dropping off some materials. Nope. I need my pickaxe. Shovels don't work. Pinky Bear says, oh, I like roller coasters. Me too. Oh look, it's an old binky quack head. Before I slightly changed the color and added some roundness to it. Welcome to Project Shenron. Cloudy Week says, depends on what type of roller coaster it is. That's very true. I like the concept of roller coasters. I don't like riding roller coasters. That being said, I have found a new game that I quite like. Um, it's called Parkitect, which isn't all about roller coasters. Just about making parks in general. And um, I quite like it. If you're a fan of Roller Coaster Tycoon, from back in the old days, back before the internet, because we're old, then, uh, yeah, you would have probably heard about it, at least. Torebo says that music and the portal were perfectly timed. Great. I timed it perfectly, and I did that on purpose. Give me my boat. There's a gas somewhere. 
There's a ghast somewhere. There is a ghast, my friends. There's a ghast. Pink Bear says, I'm in National Junior Hockey Society. Oh, Honor Society. Whoops. Derpy Duck. I'm in National Junior on your... On your... Oh, jeez. I'm going to have difficulty reading tonight. I'm in National Junior Honor Society at my school. And for a field trip, we get to go to Hershey Park in PA. Is that Pennsylvania? Uh, which is a theme park and has a lot of roller coasters. I'm really excited for that. Well, that sounds exciting. And uh, I hope you have a good time. Sounds like a lot of fun. Cloudy Week says, because we're old. Quote. Okay, I'm sorry, but that made me laugh. LOL. <laughs> All right, good. Good. You can laugh at my old age. Raybo says, we should replay on RCT sometime. It has multiplayer. Yeah, didn't Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 have a multiplayer mode or something like that? I played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but I didn't really play much of the online stuff. Jeez, people just littering their boats. Can you even believe it? Oh, okay. Hoppers are full. That's good. That means all those droppers aren't working, which is awesome. Stop it. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Terebo says, no, RCT does. Well, geez, I'm sorry. Pinky Bear says, yeah, I live in Pennsylvania. Sweet. Unless you don't like Trump, then maybe not so sweet these days. But, you know, it's still home. Anyways, Terebo, as to to your comment about playing RCT, it has multiplayer, I uh, probably would not do that. Nothing against you, of course, or anyone for that matter. It's just that um, I would probably rather play Parkitect. But I don't think Parkitect has multiplayer, not that I know of. It. Did I pass it? Nope, I didn't. Great. Terebo, I'm confused. Terebo, you're confusing me. been here. Ruining this place. Don't mind if I do. Might as well turn this into a wasteland. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I need all the sandstone. Piggy Bear says, finally I have finished with my dreaded math homework. Hooray for you. I haven't done math homework in, jeez, a really long time. And even when I did have math homework, I'm pretty sure I didn't do it. But don't do that. Do your homework. Drabo says the desert at North 3000 is less mined. 
I don't want sand. I want sandstone. And I could make sandstone out of sand, but to me that feels like a waste of sand. So... Yeah, not gonna do that. Don't even suggest it. I will ban you. Drapo says yes, also for sandstone. Yeah, I gotta mine the sand to get to the sandstone, jeez. Do you even Minecraft? Get wrecked sandstone, get into my inventory. I like this. This is nice. Just a nice little relaxing stream. Gathering some sandstone. Torebo says F5 equals 4. That's 4 times on the F5 counter. I can tell you for a fact, I have done F5 way more than four times now. What I should do is write a script that like tracks my key input, or better yet, mm, yeah see I wouldn't be able to do that necessarily. I was going to say I could just like, I could have a a timer increase every time I hit the F5, but then it would increase twice for every F5 that I do. But then I guess I could do some math wizardry on it and just be like, divide the result by two, and that is the result. So F5, F5 would technically be one F5. The counter on my stream right now is a little bit broken. I started the counter way too early when I was testing my stuff, doing my pre-stream test, and um, I forgot about it. So it was at 25 minutes when I was only 10 minutes into the stream, and I was like, damn, okay. Tried to fix it, but it didn't work. Pinky Bear says, I finished my homework, Terebo. That's right, Terebo. Pinky Bear finished Pinky Bear's homework. Who else's homework would Pinky Bear do? Nobody knows. I really like gathering sandstone because it's instant mine. It makes a satisfying noise and I just relax, and I can just be half awake while doing it. And if I slap some carrots in my offhand, I can make some friends. Very careful not to take the stone, because I don't need the stone. Pinky Bear says I wasn't paying much attention to it, because I was watching Binky. But at least it's done. At least it's done, peeps. Good job, Pinky Bear. I've made a friend. It's a superficial relationship. This this friend only likes me. I only have a friend because it wants carrots. It's an impartial relationship. Or a partial relationship? Hmm. I don't know about that. 
Might have chose the wrong word there. Pinky Bear says you should give it a carrot. But if I give it the carrot, it'll run away and it won't be my friend anymore. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh dear. Hey, you've had a carrot. Oh, still my friend, okay. Right, let's get a bed. Do we have a bed? We do not have a bed. Um, that's slightly problematic. Goner peeps. We're gonna get ambushed by a creeper. The creeper's gonna explode and kill this 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 rabbit friend I've made. Oh. Tom says, TD says in game has said your inventory top left. Oh thank you very much. Jeez. I don't even know what's in my own inventory. It looked like a shulker box. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So I have been away creating something that has been fun to create. And um, it might be even more fun to share with everyone else. And uh, what that is, is a set of Minecraft servers that I'm currently calling Quack Worlds. Oh, that's right, Quack Worlds. Pinky Bear says, where'd your rabbit friend go? All right, now we're looking. We're looking for the rabbit friend. There he is, right at the tip of the feather. So I've been away from this server. I have spent a lot of time working on a little something that I'm, it's getting close, it's getting ready. I'm getting it ready. It's called Quack Worlds and uh, it's a set of servers, Minecraft servers. It started out as just something that I was just doing for the fun of it because I, I was able to run it locally on my own computer, just run it offline. And then just kind of poke around and be a programmer, be a, a Java developer for a while, as it were. You know, poke around those Java things. But then I thought, well, you know what? This might actually be kind of fun to get peeps on there and grow a community. How cool would that be? That'd be fun. Who knows if it'll work? But uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna have a uh, survival server, a creative plot world server, mini games server with the mini games. Um, there'll be probably a few permanent mini games and then a few rotating mini games, so there'll always be some fun new things to do on the server, hopefully. For those of you who like mini games and adventures. And uh, Skyblock, a Skyblock server, and an Acid Island server, which I had never heard of until I found it, but uh, Acid Island is a similar concept to Skyblock where you claim an island, but it's in an ocean of acid, so you can't swim, and if you do, you die, and if you die, you tag an admin and be like, can I have my items back, and then the admins are like, no, that's not how this works, this is survival, you can't do that. So yeah, fun times. Coming soon, maybe, who knows? Most likely. It'll probably be, if it does if it does get released, which it most likely will, because it's been too fun, too much fun to not release. It will be available after I come back from Spain next week. So the week after, second week of April, I suppose.
Did I find my rabbit friend? I think we found my rabbit friend. He's over here chilling. He doesn't recognize me. He's doing the off. And he's back. Right, there you go. You can have a carrot. Let's see how long we can keep this guy. Do they despawn? If you keep feeding them carrots, will they stay around? That's what I want to know. Tom says, that's why I use a red bed. It's classic, and I don't have any other items that are red. Beds. Red beds. Red bed redemption. It sounds like it would be a lot easier for you to find if I didn't have so many yellow items. An inventory full of sandstone and sandstone shulkers, which are yellow. But I had to have a yellow bed. I mean, jeez. I'm a duck. I've gotta have duck colored things, you know what I'm saying? Pinky Bear says the song I'm learning on my ukulele has the strum pattern of down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I keep forgetting how, sh how to strum upwards properly. Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting how to read properly. Drabo, how many F5s are we at now? Last call for Terminal B, peeps. Shuttle to Mars. You play a ukulele, Pinky Bear. That's interesting. So you're probably familiar with Julia Noons on YouTube. I don't really know people who play ukulele. She's the only one that I know of. I don't want this stone block. Get out of my inventory. Pinky Bear says I'm learning, but yeah. Learning is the first step to perfection. Can't be a can't be perfect until you learn. But then again. Being perfect isn't the fun part. I suppose it's the journey to perfection. And then you might also argue, what is perfection? And who could be so subjective to say, my view of perfect is perfect. It is the perfect, therefore it is perfect. Perfect doesn't exist, peeps. That's what I'm trying to say. I chose the wrong words, and now I'm, I'm taking a step back. Perfection does not exist. And my laptop is turned off, which means I am no longer seeing chat. And we're back. Yay, I can see it. efficient way to gather sandstone, but I am not trying to be efficient. I'm just trying to have a little relaxing resource gathering session. shouldn't I? I've realized I'm, uh, I'm quieter today than usual, which doesn't bother me, but that's because that's just the way I am. But it's not so entertaining to watch a stream where somebody is just hitting blocks over and over and not talking about it.
Pinky Bear says, Binky, not to be rude, but don't you have dyslexia? You said you keep forgetting to read properly, but isn't that the reason why? I... I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because I'm streaming. So I'm like reading the chat, but also trying to play my Minecraft and do the Minecraft things. I don't think I have dyslexia, but it certainly seems like it. And by the way, not rude at all. Perfectly valid question. I read like a derp sometimes. sandstone. All the sandstone. Whoa. Almost fell. Don't fall into holes, peeps. Don't fall into holes. Yes. Oh, it's nighttime again. Tom, where's my bed? Tom, I need my bed. I might die without it. Please remind me, Tom, where did I put that bed? <gasps> stone. Don't gather the stone. Put it back. Pinky Bear. Pinky Bear? Sorry. Pinky Bear says... What does Pinky Bear say? What does a Pinky Bear say? Peeps, what does Pinky Bear say? Well, let's find out. Pink Bear says, oh, okay, cool. I thought before you mentioned having dyslexia, but that must have been someone else, sorry. I mentioned having dyslex dyslexia. Nice. Don't know how to speak either, apparently. I think I did, I might have mentioned it as a joke. Which is not something to joke about, you know, now that I think about it. I guess it's how I describe myself as having a, an inability to read as well as I should, or as well as I would like to, in a way that is potentially controversial, because you are using dyslexia to describe something that is not efficient for you, so an inability to speak or read properly is inefficient, I don't know. I'm making things worse here. I'm digging myself a hole. I'm jumping out of that hole. Dyslexia is okay with me, peeps. And I very well might have it, so... No judgment. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Pinky Bear says, Okay, I just might not have noticed that it was a joke. Because I was doing something else. Probably doing some math homework, it seems like. Seems like every time I stream, you're doing some sort of math homework. Doing the calculations and the, the trigonometries and the multiplicationes. All that good stuff. Bear says, no judgment here, Binky. I would never think so. Not of you, anyways. Certainly, if you were here to judge me on, on something, you would have done so by now. So you're basically a stream regular at this point, and you've, uh, you've had plenty of opportunities to pass judgment. But you don't, so I don't expect it. Tom says dyslexia isn't just a yes or no condition. There are various degrees of it. Very good point. And most people like myself 
just go by each day not realizing it. Yeah, that's a very good point. Varying degrees of dyslexia. Uh, I hadn't even thought about it that way, but yeah, that's, you know what, I think in, in, in that sense, you know, varying degrees of dyslexia, I would say I'm absolutely dyslexic because there are times, and you've heard it me, you've heard me doing it already, where I read things that aren't even there. So I will say things that, you know, people have said in the chat that it's not like putting controversy, controversial things into people's mouths, like making up lies or anything, but like reading words here and there that aren't in, aren't anywhere that they were, you know, in their message, so. It's happened, I've done it. And then I, re I realize it almost immediately. I'm like, wait a second, what? Why am I reading this word? This, doesn't, this word is not even there, it doesn't exist. And then I realize I'm a derp. And then I embrace it because being a derp is not such a bad thing. It can be kind of funny. Where's that bunny rabbit? I think we've lost our bunny rabbit, peeps. I think it's gone. Hmm. Not very many people online, so maybe it'll come back. It's gone to visit some other peeps on the server. Bear says, no, the bunny friend. Sad days. The bunny friend is gone. How are we feeling about this music, peeps? It's okay with me, but you never know. Some people might not be so into it. TD in game says, is it duck or rabbit season, Binky? Is that a reference? I feel like that's a reference to something. Is it a, a reference to the, the dude who hunts wabbits on that cartoon show? I'm hunting wabbits. case I would say in staying true to the original content I would say it's duck season that doesn't make sense it's rabbit season jeez it's duck hunting rabbit seasons it's duck making friends with rabbit season that's what it is Mickey Bear says isn't that Elmer Fudd sounds about right Tom, fact check. What a strange word that is, too. It sounds too similar to other words, right? Fact check. Unless you enunciate it. Kind of sounds like you're just saying fat, which is not the nicest thing to say to people. Fact check, please. Hey, that was a reference to check, please, when you want to end a conversation. You should be like, you know what? Check, please, and you walk away. But then that doesn't make sense either, because... You would be in a restaurant saying, check please, and you would have to wait for your check. Can't just walk away. That's called dash and dine. Dine and dash. Dash and dine. Dash and dine. Where you dash and then you dine. And that's okay too. If you want to do it backwards, I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing that people do. Pinky Bear says, okay, I thought so. Yes, it is indeed Elmer Fudd. I knew it. I told you. I tried to tell you. You didn't believe me. Tom had to be like, you know what? You should listen to Pinky. Pinky knows what he's talking about. And I say, you know what? That's right, Pinky Bear. You got to listen to Tom. You got to listen to Pinky. Because Pinky knows what he's talking about. Why is there a hole in the desert? Why is there a hole in the desert?
Oh, this is a nice song. I like this one. I've heard this one before. It's a very chill song. It's a very relaxing song. It's called Moments Part 2 by Abstraction. If you're curious, you want to check it out, be my guest. Live stream notification! On a Sumerverse. Does that mean X has gone live somewhere? Doesn't look like it. How'd I get a notification for that? There wasn't any notification in the channel. Tom says he's playing satisfactory. Is he now? Why did I sing that? He's playing satisfactory, peeps. What kind of full-time Minecrafter plays satisfactory, eh? This doesn't make sense. Tom says he's playing satisfactory. I already read that. Nice. I'm all caught up. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. Tom says, AKA competition. I don't know what that means. Competition? Winnie T4 says he tried but failed. What did he try and fail? Did he try to stream and failed? Pinky Bear says, I got that Twitch notification, but I decided to stay with you instead. Oh, well, that is very sweet. Thank you very much, Pinky. Didn't have to do that, but thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not playing satisfactory, but you know. What I'm doing is satisfactory to me. Oh! Uh... Jeez. I'm not proud of that. When he says his slobs broke. Uh oh. That's not good. How are you supposed to stream with no satis- with no slobs? Oh, jeez. Don't stream satisfactory when slobs isn't working. Well. R.I.P. Asuma stream. Pinky Bear says, what is a slob? A slob is Streamlabs OBS. OBS is a very popular streaming platform. Well, not platform, it's an application that people use to stream to platforms like Twitch Pro. And uh, Streamlabs has developed um, an adaptation of that program, and it's called Streamlabs, but is often referred to as slobs because it is Streamlabs OBS. Winnie T. Ford says so, he called it a night. Well, that, that, that sucks. I'm sure he probably feels a bit bummed out by that, but you know, those things happen, don't they? It sucks when the equipment just breaks, right? Especially when you use it as often as he does. He's been streaming pretty regularly for like, what, two years, a year, something on all. I don't know, somewhere along those lines. Either way, the point being is you could be streaming for however many months to a year or multiple years and, and you know, the software still has surprises. Mine didn't update today, but it updated yesterday, I think. And then there was another update shortly after that. So maybe they broke something, you know, because it is updated quite regularly. Something might have broke and caused his stream to go haywire, which is unfortunate. Pinky Bear says, RIP, RIP emotes in chat. RIP emotes in chat indeed. he's still playing satisfactory even though he's not streaming it probably not probably going to do go do some hermitcraft stuff or what time is
time is it? 9 p.m.? Maybe he'll just relax and go to bed. I don't know. I don't pretend to know his schedule. I'm just speculating. Come on, what's going on here? Very nice. Give me all that sand stuff. So I guess that would explain why I got a live stream notification and then there was no notification in the live stream channel when I got there because it was deleted. Reminded me of like a cinematic flyover scene or something that you would expect to see in a movie like Tron. So like him climbing to the top of a, uh, him being the main character, climbing to the top of a skyscraper, for example, and having a helicopter uh, camera angle sort of flying around. It's like building up to an epic event that's about to happen when he gets to the top of this tower. That's the scene that gets painted in my mind when I hear this song. a rabbit friend. Pinky Bear, I got a rabbit friend. Peeps of the stream, we have a rabbit friend. Did I just hear a villager? Why am I hearing villagers? says, yay, new rabbit friend. Oh, that actually looks really cool. I can see why X wanted to do that in, uh, was it one of his modded season he did that in, or was that Hermitcraft? I don't remember, but he did it at some point where he converted a desert into a wasteland. I don't recall if that was Hermitcraft or if that was modded. I want to think it was modded. Fullcraft? Season 3? Am I just throwing out random numbers here? Random, random series names and random season numbers. It'd be cool to see him do some modded again. I think that'd be cool. 
He's hinted at doing it recently. Pig Bear says, I was trying to figure out a chord for the song I'm playing, so I wasn't looking at the stream. And I just heard my name and a rabbit friend, and I got super excited. Well, it's just a rabbit that has befriended me. And it's gone. It's disappeared. Oh, I found it. I think he got spooked and he legged it, but he's back. He spooks easy. And he's spooked again. Is it because I'm mining? Does he seem less interested in me because I'm mining? I don't know. Like, that's probably not the case. Bear says, I have a rabbit in real life. He's really cute. He's all black and really sweet. That sounds really sweet. inevitable we're eventually gonna have to mine the sand to get out of our way also got to watch my pickaxe that durability is getting kind of low pink bear says would your pickaxe be able to kill a rabbit I think so I'm not really keen to find out. They're not very strong. The rabbits, I mean. screenshot. Bam. Screenshot for the stream. When it goes live on my YouTube's, tr YouTube's channels, YouTube's of the channels, where I post my stream replays. So, hooray. rest now your bed's too far away well okay then let me get closer to that bed hyper jimbo says uptime nightbot what is the uptime you tell him my friend one hour and 21 minutes welcome back hyper jimbo are you hyper i mean you're hyper in general but are you hyper today says yes I am indeed
Well, that's good. Jimbo, what are you up to? Now that you're back at your computer. Do tell, I need to know. This is a pretty, excuse me, this is a pretty silly way to gather sandstone. Avoid the sand. I don't want any of this filthy sand in my inventory. gave him a carrot and then I gave myself a carrot I feel like because I'm feeding him golden carrots he should like really like me like we should already be best friends because he's like holy crap binky a golden carrot I can't believe it Pinky Bear says, how much longer do you plan to stream? I will be streaming for another 40 minutes. Just until the top of the hour. Most likely. Maybe a little bit longer. Probably not a little bit longer though. Usually two hours. I try to cap it off at two hours. Binky, oh sorry, Jimbo, <laughs> Binky, I'm Binky, silly. Jimbo, ow, that kind of freaked me out. Jimbo, you didn't answer my question. This rabbit's excited. Jimbo didn't answer my question. Pinky Bear says, okay, I might not be able to stick around for the full time. That's perfectly okay. You know, I don't mind. You've got things to do. People got things to do. Don't even worry about it. I mean, heck, even I have things to do. One of those things happens to be streaming. At least for now. But then I'm going to go and make some food. food food um, for tomorrow as well for lunch oh dear that's a full shulker box no it's full oh my gosh Jimbo still hasn't answered my question that's how I know Jimbo's not paying attention to the stream. And also, Torevo hasn't given me an updated F5 count, which means I know he's not here either. See? I'm figuring these things out, peeps. Pinky Bear says, can you tell I'm still here and paying attention? Why, yes, Pinky Bear, I can. We've been having a conversation pretty much this entire time. And that's a big loud noise in my ear from Hyper Jimbo, throwing some hyper bits my way. Thank you very much, Jimbo, for those bits. A thousand hyper bits from Hyper Jimbo. Jimbo says, I'm very hyper indeed. I had two coffee in a row this morning. Sort out a relationship with a classmate. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. And 
So we are not hating each other anymore. Yeah, that's my day. Well, thank you very much for the bits, Jimbo. I am glad you're doing well, and uh, really glad that you were able to work out a relationship issue with your friend as well. It's always good news when that kind of stuff happens. I guess that kind of answers my question too, in a way. The question was Bink Jimbo. Well, it was Binky, but then I changed it to Jimbo because I'm Binky and that just sounds silly. Now you got me flustered. I said, Jimbo, what are you up to? I said it a few times. I said, Jimbo, Binky Quack. I said, Binky Quack, what are you up to? And then I said, Jimbo, what are you up to? Because it's, you know, I know what I'm up to. I'm up to what I'm doing. I already know what I'm doing. So Jimbo was throwing some sneaky bits my way. Again, thank you very much, Jimbo. Always, always here supporting, throwing those bits, and yelling those cheers in my ear. Oh, this music is just putting me in a good space. Just a nice, relaxed state of mind. With a nice, relaxed um, resource gathering session. And then we get bits. We got a bit war. We're having a bit war in the chat, peeps. Pinky Bear as well. Pinky Bear with the cheers and the bits. Pinky, thank you very much. The support is greatly appreciated. And the bits as well. <laughs> Pinky Bear says, you don't have a bit limit, so I sent only two bits. My only two bits. Oh, well, thank you very much, Pinky. Yeah, there's no minimum limit on the bits. Um, some streamers do, and that's perfectly fine. It's not something that I want to do, you know. If people want to send two bits, then I appreciate any bits. And that is one way for them, for you, Pinky, and anyone else to show me support. Which is always going to be greatly appreciated. So I say, why put a limit? Why why make people p send more bits than they might be comfortable sending? If they want to send some bits, but they don't want to send, you know, 200, 300, 500, whatever you set your limit to. I think that's just unfair, you know. So I say, you know what? Open the floodgates. Why not? I appreciate it, Pinky. Thank you very much for the support. For hanging out, listening to a derp. <laughs> Hyper Jimbo's throwing that derpy duck emote. The temporary duck emote. It does look kind of derpy though, doesn't it? It looks like a Simpsons character. Right, let's give this chappy a carrot so that he's happy and he stays. Hyper Jimbo says, oh, that's so kind. It is indeed. It is very kind. Give me that sandstone, please. Give me that sandstone, please. I guess we can close that window. We don't need that open. I still had VLC player open from my um, from my test recording, you know, listening and watching, making sure all the tech is working, because it's not working for everybody. Jimbo, have you heard? Have you heard the news, Jimbo? Have you heard the news? Unfortunately, um, Asuma tried to have a stream this evening, but uh, his stream labs was giving him some issues, and uh, I guess he was not able to sort it out. 
So he called it a night, and uh, so there's no X stream, unfortunately. Yeah. Jimbo says, oh no. Yes, oh no indeed. Peeps, we gotta sleep before those baddies come and get us. Bam. Sleeping in the bed. Ah, Jim Bob joined the game. Jim Bob, welcome. Welcome to the game. Who could this Jim Bob possibly be? I don't know, peeps. I don't know. This is one of those things I do not know. Hyper Jimbo. Who is Jim Bob that has just joined the server? Oh, there's some ooky spookies down there. A skeleton with some decked out in some gold armor looking real looking real sweet, looking real suave. And uh, a husk. He's pathfinding. He's making his way over to us. Oh jeez. You better hide. He's coming for you. Hyper Jimbo says, not me. It's not you? I didn't think it was. I just thought maybe you would know who it was. Jim Bob in game says, guys, say bye to Jim Bob now. It's disappeared. I am leaving the server for April and possibly May. Okay, Bobby Jim. See you when you get back. Thanks for popping by. <laughs> Pinky Bear says I love the sleep messages in chat. They are great. Yeah, they are pretty great. I enjoy them as well. I'm getting slightly better at reading these messages, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Oh, goodness me, there's a creeper, there's a creeper. Get creeped, creeper. Bam. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Pinky Bear says, when I had first started playing Minecraft, I didn't know that husks or strays existed. So when I first ran into one, I panicked and almost died. Oh, geez. Well, you say almost died, so I'm glad you didn't fully die. Maybe had a bit of a panic attack. Yeah, for the longest time, I didn't know what strays were. And then I encountered one and I'm like, oh, it's, it's a skeleton guy. I think that's the skeleton one, right? With the bow and arrow that does stuff to you, that has the effect. I don't remember what it does. Oh, jeez. Minecraft Pro. And there's the ceiling. All right, let's get rid of the ceiling. We're just going to get rid of the ceiling. I'm just taking this whole mountain. Because nobody said anything about it. Nobody said I couldn't, so I'm going to. Oh, my pickaxe just broke. Oh, my days. Oh, now I can't even... Oh, jeez. I placed a shulker box. I can't even pick it up now. It's in one of these shulker boxes. I swear, every time I come out here, I do a stream. I get so distracted. Lose my pickaxes, jeez. Hyper Jimbo says, Derpy Duck, you broke your picks again. 
I broke my picks again, Jimbo. I'm sorry. It happens. It seems to become... It has become a bit of a stream tradition. Jeez. Said that weird. It's a stream tradition. Hey, I mean, that's why we got... Oh. Bam. Autumn reset the mansion. Available again for reset in three hours. Shall we wish him good luck? To our fellow admin on the server. Good luck. Good luck. I was going to say good luck, fellow admin, but that sounds like I'm an admin. And I am not. Not on this server. I'm an admin on my own server, though. Quack worlds. I'm excited. Get excited. It's coming soon, peeps. It's coming soon. I've decided it now. It's coming soon. Hyper Jimbo. On a scale of 1 to hyper, how hyper are you? Or we could do um, like what, what X does. Oh, there he is. Stealing my stuff. Hey, this guy just spawned right in front of us. Get wrecked. In the face. Get wrecked in your face. Oh, geez. Stop putting down the full shocker boxes. Hyper Jimbo says max hyper. Maximum hyperness. Maximum hypertude. It's like attitude, but hyper. Hypertude. Oh, yeah. Probably didn't need to explain it, but I did. I'm not going to apologize for it. Please, can I have that sandstone? Thank you. Hyper Jimbo says, should I change my Minecraft name to Hyper Jimbo? Yes. Changing your Minecraft name is free, right? Or do you have to pay for that? I can't remember. Because I don't think I've ever changed my Minecraft name. I've always been Pinky Quack. I am the Binky Quack. All you other Binky Quacks be faking. You know, so many other Binky Quacks, apparently. Hyper Chimbo says, all those death numbers are going to be gone. That's right. In our tab screen, we are tracking deaths. And uh, if you change your name, it unfortunately resets that. Admins can change it because everything is stored in JSON files um, so that when the game runs, it reads all the information that it needs from a JSON file. So technically, an admin can go in and change it, but there's no commands to do it. So they have to actually access the file itself, which is not something you want to do on a live server. Um, and they're not going to take down the server to update someone's death counter. So it's just basically not going to happen, essentially. Got a text. I'll read it later. Well, I mean, I'll get to it later. I read it now because I, you know, it might be important. But it usually isn't, but you know, you never know. Uh oh, I fell. I fell. Not my fault. Somebody put a hole there and didn't tell me about it. Pinky Bear says, my Minecraft handle is PinkShark8808. Even though I use Pinky Bear 46 for everything else, I'm not sure why I put something different for my Minecraft. I don't know either. 
Thank you, bear. I just don't know. I'm going to need all that sandstone, and you can't stop me. That's right, make, night make Nightbot work. Put him to work. Tell him to tell you stuff. I fell again. This is a nice song. I like this. And what's good too is the song is shown on my screen, which means when I say, oh, I like this song, that means I can, when I'm watching the YouTube video back to make sure it's all good, as I usually do, then I can be like, oh, that's right, that is a good song, and then I can go and get the song and add it to my Spotify playlist. Or I can go to their Bandcap page, because a lot of the music that I play is stuff that isn't necessarily on iTunes and Spotify, because they're royalty-free artists, which means they've made it for free usage. So sometimes I'll just go and actually support their Bandcamp pages and uh, buy their music. If I like them, I'll support them. So that actually brings me to my next point, which isn't really a point that I needed to make, but it's a point I'm going to make anyways. Uh, subs and bits. Always greatly appreciated and, um, you know, I love seeing those notifications and you know, if my streams entertain people and they want to subscribe or throw bits at me, then I will certainly not say no, and I do appreciate that. That investment that my viewers make, that my followers make, subscribers make, um, that gets reinvested into right now. It uh, The plan is to reinvest it into Quackworlds, which is the set of servers that I'm setting up that I've talked about before half the stream already um yeah so it'll go for that pinky bear says wow one hour and 40 sorry one hour and 42 minutes already there's that dyslexia again see it doesn't it doesn't stay away forever it comes back that derpy duck doesn't know what he's reading wow one hour and 42 minutes already time flies time sure does fly Time flies. Piggy Bear also says, I very much want to subscribe, but I don't have any money. That's perfectly okay. I mean, you're hanging out in the chat and you're keeping me company and, um, you know, that, that, that is perfectly fine. I don't value the support I receive, um, by the number of bits or subscribers I receive, you know? Um, if you're here hanging out in the chat and you're, you're keeping me company and you're hanging out with the peeps... I think that is just as much support as subscribing. So thank you very much for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying the stream. We still have our rabbit friend. He's around here somewhere. If he's gone, I'm going to have to make a new one. Yeah, he's here. But we got skeletons too. We got to be careful. The skeletons might kill this guy. Sleep. We got to sleep. Hyper Jimbo with the duck motes. Give me those sweet, sweet duck emotes. I'm so excited, Jimbo, did I tell you? I got my emotes. Oh yeah, I sent them to you. I sent you the previews. Got the first draft sketches for the emotes and I am absolutely over the moon excited. They look so good. She, she sent me the screenshots this morning um, and she wasn't sure if I was going to like them. And I said, oh my goodness, you know what? They are absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And better. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Yeah, Jimbo, I sent those to you before I even got out of bed. First thing I checked was Twitter because I got my alarm turned off. And then I saw on my phone I had a notification from Twitter. I got a DM and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a DM. And because I don't get DMs on Twitter very often, I knew exactly what it was. So I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 
and um, gave gave the rabbit a carrot. And uh, yeah, so I checked it, and then I was like, oh my goodness, I need to share this with somebody. I gotta share this moment with somebody. And I can't remember what Jimbo texted me, but you sent me something on Discord before I had messaged you, I think. Or maybe I messaged you first, I'm not too sure. Oh goodness, there's a creeper. Gotta protect the bunny rabbit. Protect the bunny rabbit, don't blow up. If you blow up, that makes me sad. Don't make me sad. Don't make me sad. Okay. We're okay, peeps. The creeper is gone. The creeper is no longer with us. Ooh, hello, have a cookie. And by cookie, I mean carrot. Why did I say cookie? Pinky Bear, does your rabbit eat cookies? Probably not, because isn't sugar bad for rabbits? Isn't it chocolate poisonous or something? Mike Sterner says hello. Hello, Mike Sterner. And welcome to the stream, my friend. Hello to you. Hope you're having a good day slash evening slash afternoon. Wherever the heck you are on this planet, I hope it's a peaceful day for you. Jeez. Ah, uh, right. Hyper Jumbo says, I texted you this morning. I said, I'm considering playing less on the server this coming two months until I got university. Or until you got in the university. And uh, you replied, that's not the worst idea. Probably a good plan, to be honest. I remember that. And uh, also said, focus on what matters the most. And that is always going to be the point, you know. Priorities. Focus on the important things in life. And for Mr. Hyper Jimbo of the Hyper Jimbo family. The Hyper Quack Jimbo family. Where exactly was I going with this point? Um, yeah. F focus on things that matter. You know, university is important. Hyper Jimbo's family. Hyper Jimbo's family. Mike Sterner says it's afternoon, but I just woke up. Oh, geez. That's the life you want to live right there, peeps. Get to sleep all day. That is epic. I do that on the weekends, actually. <laughs> so you won't hear me judging you, because <laughs> I do it all the time. Uh, not during the weeks, though, sadly. I gotta go and work. Jeez, do I sound excited about that? Because I'm not. Pinky Bear says, but you mentioned cookies reminded me of something that happened in Minecraft to my bird. I had just gone and traveled thousands of blocks to try and a bird... Wait, that's confusing me. We were trying to get a bird. I'm confusing, but I'm confused by the wording of that. Um, and I finally got one, and I had cookies in my hand. I accidentally fed the bird a cookie, and it died immediately. I was so sad. That sounds very sad. Yeah, unfortunately, if you feed parrots cookies in the game, they die, which is very sad. And I don't know why Mojang did that. That is terrible. Mojang, what are you thinking? What I do like bird related in the game is when you play note blocks or you play songs near birds, they will dance. I think that is nice. Pinky Bear says, I gotta go. See you all next time. See you later, Pinky Bear. Thank you very much for hanging out and chat with us. And thank you for the bits. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you on the future stream this um, this Friday. Same time. Uh, look forward to seeing you then. Have a good evening and enjoy the rest of your week. Mike Sterner says bye, Pinky Bear 46. Mm. 
by Pinky Bear 46 indeed. Mike Sterner, do you play on the Let's Play Minecraft Together server? Um, which is a roundabout way of me asking you, do I possibly know you from somewhere? Or perhaps you're just a uh, random tune-in, which is also very cool. And uh, again, welcome to the stream. Hyper Jimbo says, too many mic. Never too many mics. Too many metamorphic mics. Jeez, that guy's a troll. That guy be trolling. Um, yeah, so you might be wondering, why am I mining sandstone like this? This seems like a very derpy way to mine sandstone. It is indeed a very derpy way to mine sandstone. I cannot argue the facts on that one. It's not very efficient, but um, you know, it's it's just a nice relaxing stream where I'm just gathering some sandstone and listening to some chill music. And I kind of get bored of just sort of structuring my resource gathering, like doing rows, going up a row and down a row and then up a row and it's just sort of repeating that pattern. That works for some, it works for a lot, but um, nah, not for me. I like to be random and jump around. Mike Sterner says, no, no, I don't. Okay, you don't know me. Right. But I visited your stream once after a raid a few weeks ago. Oh, right on. Well, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. That probably would have been an X raid. Mr. Asuma said, you know what? That Binky Quack is streaming. Let's go check him out. And I said, Mr. Asuma Void. Mr. Asuma of the Void, I do appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I play on his server. Um, the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. Oh, that reminds me. Peeps. Peeps of the stream. Peeps. Lend your eyeballs over here for a second. Bam, while I hit you with these transitions, so smooth, so slick, professional, professional streamer. And uh, actually, we're just about at two hours, which is perfect because I can end the stream with a recap of an announcement I made a little bit earlier in the stream, and that is we are doing a farewell vanilla live stream day on Saturday, the 30th of March. That's this Saturday coming up. There's four of us participating in this stream, and this this vanilla server has been around in the Asumaverse, one of Asuma's oldest servers, for I think about two years. I think they just had their two-year anniversary with the server not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. And um, we're all very sad to see it go, but it did seem like a good time to uh, draw things to an end with that server. Um, speaking in terms of popularity the let's play minecraft together is server is kind of where everybody's at these days um or the plot world because the plot world is of course open to the public there's no barrier to barrier to entry barrier of entry there's no barriers in your way so just go play all freaking day bam poetry 7 a.m until 9 a.m gmt We'll be streaming with Cuplex, followed by Binky Quack, myself, 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. I might even stream a little bit longer because, as you can see, 
there's nobody after me between me and Sherpa. There's a good few hours there, so I might stream for an extra hour. And then, uh, yeah, so that'll bring us on to Sherpa at 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Followed by Rainbow, who will be ending the stream day from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. Um, and then once her stream is done, the server will be turned off. And um, that will be the official farewell of the server. So bittersweet, you know. We're excited to welcome the peeps onto the Let's Play Minecraft together. If they do wish to come and join us, that would be perfect. That would be wonderful. And uh, yeah, so peeps. Mike Sterner says, good poetry. Oh, why, thank you very much. Mike Sterner also says, the farewell of the server forever. Yes, the vanilla, the vanilla Minecraft server will be turned off. Those that hardware resource will be reallocated somewhere else. I'm sure. I I don't know what their plans are. I do not think they're going to bring back the vanilla server. It seems very much like this is a concrete decision they've made. It, it will be turned off. And um, as for the future of vanilla, it is going to be, no longer be a thing. So again, that's kind of bittersweet. But um, yeah, it it opens up the doors for other possibilities with the hardware and the resources that were being allocated to a server that admittedly was not overly popular. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a live stream day to celebrate the farewell. And uh, again, that's on the 30th of this month. That's this Saturday. So peeps, I'm going to wrap up my stream right there. And uh, again, I hope to see you on Saturday. I will be streaming again this Friday, uh, 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. Same time as I stream today. Hope to see you then. And again, we'll have our stream day on Saturday. And that should be a lot of fun as well. I'm I'm going to spend that stream probably recording footage from around the vanilla server. Uh, so we'll do a bit of a tour of the vanilla server. I'll get some footage. I'll compile that footage um, into a bit of a montage. And uh, that'll be like a memento that everybody who spent any time on the vanilla server or, you know, called the vanilla server their home for a time um, would hopefully appreciate that as a, as a memento to take away. So that's it, peeps. That's my stream for today. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Pinky Bear is not here, but thanks again um, for the bits and Hyper Jimbo as well. The bits are appreciated. The support is always appreciated. And for people just hanging out in the chat, that's also appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you later, peeps.